face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up you guys and welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? Verse of this week we're of course covering yet again the Reggie Trio with the last member from the trio before they turned the quartet being Reggie Steel versus the Ultra Beast last one revealed the symbol the Stakataka Dalmasita Takata I don't know uh, quite frankly this is a matchup that inherently going into it there really aren't much about them that are the same yet they are the closest thing I got uh, I was looking upon Bronze Song and other Pokemon to actually be able to fit off against British Steel, but they work so much differently that I would need something to be on par where how to function primarily and just you know the niches behind them is what of course deviate which one of these two of course are better now registeel has been a consistent threat since it was introduced in generation 3 starting off in ou fell to uu and then eventually settled in ru from generation 5 and has been a part of that ever since in the league it is a very very primary threat since it's consistently a good defensive check against a lot of things due to it being a, one of the very rare traits of it being a soul steel type. Stack Attack, however, the new member, of course, introduced this generation in the latest game being Ultra Sun and Moon. Massive monster we forced to be dealing with. Then it's up to me to go over the overarching theme and move pull to see which one of these two really are better. And we're gonna start off with the Registeel, and primarily Registeel's typing. Soul Steel type is a very interesting typing because we have a lot of resistances and one immunity and three weaknesses. This is by far one of the best defensive typings in the game. And while it does make for a fair combination typing, it is very fair to say that, well, a Steel type does kind of resolve a lot of issues. Uh, looking upon it, immunity and poison always great for toxic stalling. Weakness to fighting, fire, and ground, while all being fairly common, at the same time, one can say the same thing about its resistances. Bug, Dragon, Fairy, Flying, Grass, Ice, Normal, Psychic, Rock, and Steel are all very good resistances, and usually tend to do fairly well against certain matchups. It does force matchups to be forced to be running something to be able to hit Steel super effectively, which also leave them open. So overall, Regisil's typing, very fair and a very good typing at that. But there are more to Registeel than just the simple typing. No, we have a lot more to talk about. It has one of those very, very fierce stat distribution. While the previous Regis leaped in attack with 100 somewhere and had a defense somewhere of 200, while down between 50 and 100, Registeel settles on being balanced between all of those stats, being that it has 75 in both attacks and 150 instead in both defenses. While well, it has the same base HP and speed between 80 and 50, it's very fair to say that Registeel has a stronger defensive typing and as a whole becomes a lot more reliably defensively a really well-rounded token as a whole. The only thing that is a letback to Registeel is actually that it doesn't necessarily hit as hard on both sides at all. And while 100, as I said previous video, was passable for the other ones, it is not necessarily that here. While it can use it, it still has to be actually revolted that this is definitely not to be something. You don't use a radio seal for going for the offensive prowess. There is not what you do. You kill momentum, you soak damage, and you retaliate if you're able to. It does have metal burst, so there are all a few aspects of radio seal to make it interesting. However, as a whole, all I can say about Radio Seal is it's very fair defensive typing and has a very good amount of defenses, so it's very hard to take out, making it one of those really tough Pokemon to force to be dealing with. When it comes to abilities, however, uh, it is a bit of a letdown, I would say. While Clear Body do alleviate itself from not losing defenses, such as, of course, Crunch or anything like that that could uh, decrease your defense, um, it still doesn't necessarily help it all that much. As said before, the others, uh, Stick Web is not that helpful, even though Clear Body is a good things to have it doesn't alleviate anything towards it however it's hidden ability light metal mm, not necessarily all that much better while low kick is good to be forced to be parrying uh, i would say overall that clear body is probably the better one depending on the matchup you're going up against that said though overall registeel is a very very scary pokemon but we also have move pull to cover so let's talk about that because registeel is one of those pokemon that i think have the option 
to do a lot of things because this move pool is really broad. It is actually broader than the other radius, which is something I really want you guys to keep in mind when we talk about radius seal as a whole. First and foremost, Charge Beam. The reason I mention this is because while I do have a lacklustering special attack, Charge Beam can alleviate some of that. Bulldoze if you want to creep something. Curse is your only real setup move. While we have Amnesia and the Iron Defense, all I can say there is that Curse is most likely better if you're going for something like offensively variants here. Since Registeel has a fair amount of options to actually go offensive, Iron Head is your main stab. Seismic Toss is usually your main form of attack. Seismic Toss, since it is more reliable with over 50 or 100 depending on your level when you're facing up against opponent, this leaves yourself to hopefully at least ensuring a 3 to 5 hit KO somewhere down the line there depending on left or whatnot. <laughs> And since Radio Seal can soak damage, it sure as hell can dish out a little bit and still be actually coming on top. The usual combo with this is Toxic. Radio Seal is a great Toxic Staller, if anything. While it isn't mentioned here, it is something I really want you guys to keep in mind going forward. Um, as I said here, our, our defense, Flash Cannon. I was going to say Benicia, same thing here. Flash Cannon, the other way, another aspect of actually your main stab. If you want to go with a more special variant with the likes of Thunderbolt and whatnot, you could be able to capitalize on that with Flash Cannon. And of course, for mentioning our assault is very with charge beam flash cannon, kind of fun to use. Definitely horrendously hard to kill. Hammer arm, decent filler counter. Same thing here. Due to your being so defensively involved, and of course both earthquake or ground and fighting damage tend to be physical orientated. It's good to have a counter. It's definitely something to knock out a Pokemon if you're forced to. Lock on is here, and his lock on is here for one reason, and that's because sap cannon. While Sap Cannon is very, very unconventional, it's fun to use it. It's really fun. Uh, Hammer Arm is, like I said here, one of your primary physical fighting moves, but you also have superpower. Uh, usually try to avoid that due to your being, of course, defensively active. It's very bad to lose defensive stats when you're a defensive Pokemon. Earthquake, uh, same thing, a very good filler overall. Block, to be able to put Toxic Stall in block Pokemons are kind of mean, I should say. Uh, so, it's a very good Pokemon to use block, most certainly. Explosion, decent filler, early, same thing here, it's filler. Focus Blast is a special physical fighting move, so it's, it, it works. Special physical, that's that's new. Shadow Claw, same thing here, at best filler. Stealth Rocks, one of the better Stealth Rockers in the game due to, of course, its defensive type already. So, the Stealth Rock is always fair to use on a Regis Steel if you go in the league. And uh, Radius Seal will most likely always be a self rocker, but it's one of the better ones, so it's, there's really no reason not to capitalize on that. Psych Up. Um, this is definitely not an anti response to anything that sets up in your face. However, Psych Up do ensure that with, I do believe, Normalium C or if it's Psychium C, that you will be able to recover at least once. And that's not a bad thing, considering, like I said, it is a defensive Pokemon after all. Thunder Wave. Yeah. While it isn't as effective this generation, it's still made it worth mentioning. Being able to paralyze instead of toxic stalling is always annoying, since it can actually deal with uh, threats 1 versus 1 and able to actually kinda cripple them for other matchups to do better. Thunder Punch and Ice Punch, all of them being fair. Ice Punch primarily because of the likes of Gliscor and Landorus. A Sugar Berry here resolves so much, and an Ice Punch could very well end them. Uh, and also, of course, Magnet Rise, last mention here. Magnet Rise might not be the best move, but it is alleviating one weakness for it. And overall, it's a fair filler. But as a whole, Registeel does a lot of things really, like, average to all right. But all of these are defensive responses. It does do what I would call the anti-checking, which means that it can retaliate and kill things and just stall and really do well against a certain matchup. Overall, Registeel is very hard to be dealing with at the same time that it's a very passive Pokemon. But if it's done right, it does do really well against a lot of matchup. And overall, Registeel hasn't necessarily become worse throughout the generation. It's just the threats to become more um, physically orientated in a way to force it out. But overall, Registeel has never necessarily been a bad Pokemon. It is standing out as the best Regi. And uh, no changes so far have made it a lot worse than it was from the starting point. The steel typing really does resolve a lot. And just seismic toss and being able to toxic stall is something that seems to never go out of fashion. Hence why Registeel is still as effective as it was when it was created. So before we talk about stack attack, I really just want to mention how the rock and steel type combination is both the worst and the best typing combination in the game also. Since steel type, as stated, is a very good defensive typing. Rock type... 
isn't that. There are a lot of weaknesses in Volute Rock type that are shining through. However, Steel does resolve a few of those and in such a way that you lose your weakness in the likes of a Fire to Steel type. And of course, uh, for Rock type, they'll lose their Grass um, immunity, was going to be Grass weakness. However, it still are things that it's very weak to instead and uh, it's unfortunate to say the least because it does kind of make uh, the typing itself not as good defensively but having aspect to be good defensively so first and foremost immunity and poison strong resist fly normal this time around resistance regular bug dragon fairy ice psychic and rock however we have a, now a new weakness to water but what's very tough for these Pokemon to deal with is that the boat has four times weakness to both finding and ground both being fairly common, one being of course of priority, making the type combination tougher, yet I think it's still a good defensive typing, but there are things to watch out for. So with that said, let's talk about Stakataka. Now Stakataka is a very, very scary Pokemon. Uh, looking upon its stats there, it actually leaps in a lot of things and it plummets in a lot of things. The things it plummets in isn't necessarily that bad. First and foremost, 61 HP, yeah, that's not necessarily that scary. 131 in its attack. Well, that's that's a lot. That's Avalog level uh, 211 in the defense. Jesus. 53 in a special attack. That's all right. I mean, we already mentioned its attack 131. Uh, 101 in special defense. Trust me, that's a lot. That's basically this Pokemon is ready rock in a lot of aspects when it comes to its defensive combination. And the speed tier at 13. 13. However, like stated, this is not necessarily a bad thing because Stack Attacker has a very strong niche because it is one of the best Trick Room setter in the whole game and with that speed, it almost guaranteed Jarable to be at 150 base power plus stab at all times. And we should definitely mention the one that matters, which is the Beast Boost. Which means that this Pokemon can boost itself in defense or in its attack. The other ones, sadly, are too low to be affected by the Beast Boost. However, in the grand scheme of things, this is a very, very scary combination. And consider Stack Attack as defensive typing and high defenses, it is a dominant threat to be forced to be dealing with. But, however, stat doesn't necessarily say everything about Stack Attack. We also have Moople to talk about, so let's cover that and then, of course, resolve which one of these two are better. So, first and foremost, going to Stack Attack, due to being introduced this generation, it hasn't those four generation of other moves from previous generations. However, it moves pool are just as relevant, so it doesn't necessarily matter all that much. Stealth Rocks, clearly one of the good things here. Our defense, kind of overkill. Iron Head, if you don't want to go for Jar Ball, always go for Jar Ball. Uh, Rock Blast, fair move if you see, think you facing up against a Focus Sash variant. Earthquake, Fair Filler, Stone Edge, your strongest physical stone move. Use that always. Reflect, Overkill, but it does get it. Brutal Swing is a fair, I would say, um, filler. and Very uncommon, but you can use it. Jar Ball, your bread and butter, your strongest move. Even if you resist it, it still hurts because it just get that massive base power of 150 plus stabs, so 225. So if it is resisted, it is still stronger than a neutral earthquake. It's it's insane. Uh, Trick Room. This Pokemon is the best Trick Room setter, I would say, or at least Trick Room sweeper in the whole game. It's designed primarily with Trick Room in mind. So with that in mind, yeah, watch out. It, it can set it up itself, which means it's the fastest Pokemon in the field. With Beast Boost boosting attack, you're, you're, you're done for. Rock Slide, do not use that. Infestation, don't. You just get it, so you can't trap Pokemon. We also have Block, so I feel like it's unnecessary. Magic Coat, be able to actually, you know, throw things back and burn and spikes and stuff like that. And Leech Seed, Gravity. If you want to be more accurate, quite frankly, it does kind of work and definitely against the likes of, let's say, Skarmory, for example, that does flow to able to hit Earthquake if you don't want to capitalize on Stone Edge. And as stated before, um, Gyro Ball still hurts. Magnet Rise, this Pokemon actually have a fair way of using Magnet Rise, mainly because of the you know very weak aspect to it. Superpower, also the same thing here, Fair Filler with Sen Headbutt, Wonder Room. One room switch your defenses for five turns and consider your amount of H defense versus special defense. But this could be very unnerving for Pokemon and of course be dealing with it because becoming more special defensive active. 
will also probably mean that you... I think so, I don't know if it works like this, but if Wonder Room boosts your special defense instead of your defense, that would be really interesting. And the last one is Skill Swap. You don't want to do it against your opponent, however, in VGC to be able to Skill Swap your Beast Boost to a lander is kinda, kinda scary, I, I won't deny that. But overall, Stag Attack is standing out as, you know, a very, very, very slow Pokémon, however, it will always be the slowest one around, and it has a lot of good offensive prowess to this Pokemon. 131 attack plus possible speed boost, and what's got a beast boost, makes this Pokemon one of the scariest trick room sweeper in the game, if not the scariest, because it's so bulky. While it does have a lot of weaknesses to watch out for, it is most likely bulky enough to survive them. I would only say Mac Punch is the one that's scaring this Pokemon together with the likes of Vacuum Wave. Other than that, if you're behind a Trick Room, Stack Attacker is one of the most dangerous Pokemon to force me to deal with, making it a very, very fair opponent to Registeel, because this is a Pokemon that is not as passive, and while you could use this Pokemon defensively, I highly recommend that you don't. So what this dialogue for me comes down to is which one is more rewarding to use? Um, looking upon it, you know, come to league aspect, I don't believe. I I say that Registeel is consistently more better in leagues due to it having a more consistent defensive route and be able to actually pull off offensive rolls with Force Two. It doesn't do it well, but it's able to do them. Stack Attack, of course, being more easily to be prepped against, and I think it kind of damage it to some extent. That said, Stack Attack is the strongest Trick Room Setter and Trick Room Setter, and um, it really does shine here. It's, there is nothing like that, this Pokemon. Uh, it is definitely the strongest sweeper there is. It just doesn't do as well defensively as it should do, consider its design and the nature. It is forced to be an offensive Pokemon with defensive stats, and while it does have the offensive stat, it sure as hell feels that it should have been used in a different way than just a Trick Room Sweeper. So with that said, Registeel for me is slightly better um, I don't believe Registeel is a bond to actually go for being forced to be RU. I definitely believe this Pokemon isn't born by tears as much as one would think. Uh, due to block and toxic, this Pokemon can semi stall other stally Pokemon. Looking upon Shansi, Blissey, Cresselia, uh, none of these Pokemon actually deal well with Registeel since it can actually lock them in and stall them out. And with Psychop in mind, Registeel has a way to recover. And since the defensive stat do allow it to work defensively, I say Registeel is better because it consistently does all right against a lot of things. While Stack Attack, while it alleviates itself to do very well against a few matchups, it also just simply dies against others. And I really don't want you guys to get the wrong idea here because I feel comparing these two was very tough because they aren't necessarily that much alike. Uh, Stack Attack is a good. Sweeper. There is really no, no, nothing going about it that would alleviate itself of me over saying that it is. It is very. It's a very good Pokemon. It just does one thing extremely well, and I try to actually celebrate Pokemon that can do more thing than one. And Regisil simply is that. While it is a good defensive Pokemon, it can do offensive roles if it's forced to. Stack Attack can't do defensive roles if it's forced to because there are so many things that simply takes it out. And uh, I feel that that's unfortunate, but at the same time, if you're using a Trick Room set, that is a non-issue, because it's all about getting the Trick Room up and getting the sweeping done. So I don't believe that's comparable, however, I do want, as I said, celebrate the things that matters. And Registeel has a lot of things to be celebrated about, which is why I'm making it the winner of this matchup. So, with that said, what do you guys think? Which Pokemon did you think here deserve to be the winner? And you have something to share here about this Pokemon that you haven't actually been forced to be doing before. I really want to hear what you guys are thinking about Registeel primarily, because Takataka is something else, and quite frankly, it's hard to compare against. So, with that said, join us next week, we're going to see Reggie Gigas versus...